Here at WS Tyler, we understand that particle analysis is an important part of your process, and that's why we want to help you get accurate results without you having to worry. In order to get these results, we recommend using a representative sample. In today's video, we'll show you two different methods that we suggest. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Candice, and I'm the product manager for the particle analysis products at WS Tyler. I've worked with clients for 15 years in sales and technical support for our ROTAPs and test sieves. Today we're going to go over our two preferred methods for preparing a representative sample, coning and quartering and using a material splitter. But why would you need to know about these two methods? Well, simply put, having a representative sample is inherent to having a good particle analysis. A representative sample is a subset of a larger group whose characteristics accurately represent those of the entire group. Labs that are doing quality control using test sieves should have a representative sample that's made up of mostly dry, free-flowing material. Coning and quartering is the process used to split down bulk material into four equal sample sizes. One drawback can be that it's difficult to determine if you're breaking down the bulk sample into equal sample sizes. Here's how you can use the coning and quartering method. Pour your material onto a clean, flat surface. Once you do this, it will naturally result in a cone shape. Using a large shovel or another suitable tool, turn the entire sample over at least three times and then form the entire sample into a conical pile. Flatten the material to have a circle uniform in thickness. This is typically done with the shovel. Cut the pile into four identical quarters. Remove two opposite corners. After you cone and quarter your material sample, you may find that it's still too large to run through a standard test sieve. At this point, you can use a laboratory material splitter to get the sample size down to a more manageable testing size. A material splitter is a quick and compact way to get a representative sample. All of the material stays in the unit so that there's no cleanup time. If your production typically yields smaller material sizes, you can start with a material splitter for your first option. You'll want to ensure that you evenly pour the material onto the splitter so that you get an equal separation. In this example, we'll be using a manual material splitter. Here's how to use a material splitter. First, you want to make sure that the collection plates are underneath the splitter and that the chutes are closed off. Pour the material across the surface of the splitter. Once that's evenly distributed, pull the handle so that the material flows through the chutes into the two pans. At this point, you can use the material in one of the pans to begin your sieve analysis. Or, if you choose, you can further split the sample down by pouring one of the pans back through the material splitter to get an even smaller sample size. If you have any questions or concerns about gathering a representative sample, you can reach our customer service at 1-800-321-6188, email info at wstyler.com, or you can fill out the form on the Contact Us page of our website. If you'd like to learn more about particle size analysis, we have a learning center that's full of information designed to help you become a particle size analysis expert. Just click the link in our video description. To keep up to date on all things WS Tyler, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. Until next time, I'm Candace. Have a great day.